G'day and welcome back to Paradox Computing. Uh, so I'm here to show off my latest uh, contraption. I really haven't named it yet. That shouldn't be there. Um, just breaking computers. Yep, welcome. I'm wrecking the joint. Um, so what is my latest contraption? It is this turtle basically connected to this... Uh, what is this thing called? A carriage controller. It's a uh, redstone in motion. And basically what this is going to allow me to do is just control my my ship or my base with um, W, A, S, and D. That's right. Um, we can go up, but we can go down. Uh, every direction. Um, and yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, and I fell out of the fucking ship. <laughs> Ah, oh, strongest ever. That actually has not happened to me before. So, um, there you go. That's something new. Always good. Oh, well, fuck it. That's staying in the video. Um, yeah, so that's, um, Redstone in Motion. I think I'm getting that mod name right. Now, this is a custom mod pack. You usually wouldn't see, uh, if you're playing Feed the Beast, like Ars Magica stuff and Computer Craft and whatnot in the same mod, I don't think. Uh, sorry, mod pack. Um, this is just a custom one, but it's, you know, really mostly um, a lot of the FTB mods. Um, cool. So, yeah, it allows you to just move it around by, um, you can just push and hold. Or if I press R, you can see here it says auto um, R. If we just hit R. It'll organize my inventory and also turn um, auto on, which means I can just uh, press forward and get out of that GUI and the ship's just going to go by itself. It's going to keep going until I tell the to toidal um, to stop, which I can do by... Oh, God, this is going to break things. There we go. Um, Toidle is not going to like me being there. Nope. Okay. Uh, didn't break the program, but at the moment I try to tell him to do anything, it will. Oh no, that's strange. Okay, I picked that wrong. Um, so can we go back? Yep. So to go backwards, the turtle's got to just move up on top of the uh, controller there. Um, and what he'll do is he'll wrap the peripheral underneath him. Um, cool. So, oh, just one other. I'll show off quickly. One last thing that it can do. It can go to a coordinate. So basically, if we say set destination C, um... It tells us it's going to go down there, because he likes to chill out down there, apparently. Um, and we're going to enter the coordinates, so um, let's... Uh, well, we'll take it back, I guess. I kind of uh, would like to... I'm just going to make all... I'm just going to smash up the joint, if you'll excuse me. Because uh, I don't want to be moving with this thing when I set it off. Um, so, uh, the coordinates, it's home coordinates from basically where I took off from was 0... 72, I think, zero. And there we go. And you can see the turtle now um, moving him across. Now, this weird glitching blue graphic thing um, is new. I haven't seen it do that uh, until I just created this little uh, test world to show this thing off in. So that's strange. Usually it just looks normal. Um, it does do the blinking thing a little bit, but yeah. Anyway, that's strange. But you can see him uh, coming back in for a landing. Ta-da! Um, ah. Uh, I must have said back one too far. Bugger. Um, anyway, don't worry about that. Now, um, the other thing I set it up to is you can control over the red net. So we're just going to say, um, press enter when ready to proceed. You'll have one minute to enter the coordinates before the system times out. That's just so it doesn't get stuck in some weird state. Um, so we've got a minute to tell it where to go. Uh, so we'll stick with uh, just zero coordinate. Let's just say go up to like 80, uh, zero. And now, yeah, that's going. And you can always bring it back quiet phone you can always bring it back through um yeah through the terminal well as long as it's in range of the red net um and yeah so that's how it works and you can um have up to oh god on these um uh platform carriages which you attach to the controllers the uh the carriage well the you attach to the attached to the carriages um you can have up to five thousand blocks attached to that so you can really move your whole base like um yeah, you know, there's a bit of space in here for stuff, but you can make this so much bigger. Um, and you can just move your base around the map. So if you ever want it to be somewhere else, just put in the coordinates. And away she goes! Uh, nice one! So is there anything else I need to show you? I think these are the, um, the main things, really, that it does. Um, 
I'll quickly now uh, maybe just go into just some basic bits of the code. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, um, the reason I'm using a turtle instead of using a, um, uh, say, like just a attaching a computer to this, um, <laughs> I made a hole there, didn't I? <laughs> um, instead of having just a computer attached to the uh, carriage controller, is the problem is uh, basically every time all these blocks move, if you've got a computer attached to them, I mean, I can show you actually. The problem is the computer will um, reboot every time it moves. So if we just put the computer, say, here, and we'll just say, let's just type something in. So like we'll have, so it's just saying test there. But if we go forward, and now if I look back at the computer, that's gone. So if you're in the middle of a program or whatever, that closes. If you're looking at the GUI interface, that closes, which um, I really didn't want because I wanted to be able to keep the GUI open while we move. So that's why I'm using a turtle. The downside to using a turtle is it's going to use fuel. But if you put fuel, um, I wrote in the, into the program, if you put fuel in there, whenever he runs out of fuel, he'll get fuel out of, he'll check every slot in his inventory for fuel. Uh, okay, cool. So yes, that's why I'm using a turtle. Uh, it has its advantages, uh, definitely. So, very quickly on how you use the um, carriage controller. Uh, well, let's just go. Um, now, I have to remember this. So I wasn't actually planning on putting any of this stuff into the mod, but, oh, well, why not? Um, so, let's just, I guess we can just wrap, wrap this for Lua. Uh, so, um, let's just call it Eng, yeah. ENG, yeah, sure. ENG equals uh, peripheral dot wrap, and then we go. Uh, it's on the back of the computer, so we go put put in back. There we go. And I can't type. There we go. Feeling the pressure of making the video. Many apologies. So now we can do um, ENG uh, dot move. And we go put in a few things here. Now, first off is um. The way it's given directions is um, through numbers. So one is up, zero is down, two is north, three is south, and four and five are west, but I can't quite remember. Um, so we give it a direction. So let's just say we want to go up, okay? One. Uh, then you've got um, two Booleans to chuck it, a true or a false. And it's basically whether it moves the um, controller block or not. Um, so uh, And the other one is... Um, just to simulate it, not actually do it, which I believe is this one. So we'll set that to false because we don't want to simulate it. And for now, let's not move the controller block. Uh, I hope I did that right. Oh, invalid simulation flouse. Wow, well, flouse isn't a Boolean. True, there we go. And ta-da, it's moved that. Um, now, if we just uh, put these back, now, also, um, you've always got to have one of these platforms to, connected to it. Uh, now, this platform allows you to move everything that's connected to it up to 5,000 blocks. There's other kinds, which uh, use other kinds of controls. Check out Red Power in Motion, um, the wiki for that. Uh, okay, so let's go uh, true on this one and see the difference. True. This time, this didn't actually move. So there you go, and that goes. Now, if we had, say, um, if we had, let's just put, if we put another computer here, well, basically the thing is, if I put another computer there, then in theory it'll probably all move, but the problem is uh, that's going to restart. So you could move it, um, and that's why you can use computers, you know, with redstone in motion. Um, or, you know, if you want to use it as an elevator, you know, you just put um, a bunch of these on together, you know, ch -ch -ch. Let's break. Well, there we go. Nice cave, convenient cave system underneath us. So we'll get some space because it's going to pick up blocks. But we can then say, um, let's say uh, down, which is zero. And yeah, this time it's gone down. Oops. And do it again, down again. And that's how you'd use it to. Um, so you just put a nice little for loop in there or something, and this will just keep moving down. Ta da! Now, to make, um, to use the things I have in this video, 
Um, let's just put down, I'll put it all down. Now, um, if you want to use my setup and my program and stuff, uh, big important thing is it has to be facing north. So total has to be facing north with that in front of it. So you can see my meme map, I know if the screen's too small, the res is too crap, but north is this direction. Um, and then we can just do, um, yeah, paste me in, get uh, startup. This will be in the um, description, so you can just copy and paste that, put it in, and bam. Um, and then you just run uh, startup. Uh, start up. Um, so now the tell's going to ask for some coordinates. Um, now, it depends how exact you want to be, but um, yeah, just uh, you can use Ray's minimap or... Yeah, or I've got F3 up. I've had that up the whole video, haven't I? Have I? If I have, I'm terribly sorry. That must have been annoying for people. I'll turn it off after this. Um, so current coordinates are negative 17 plus 16, um, 65. We're going to raise minimap. And pretty much the same on the other. So um, let's just say 17. Um, is that right? I hope so. Yep, 17 whatever, yeah, close enough, 65, uh, and, ooh, 16, is that right, ooh, 46, that's not what you want, is that right? yeah, 16, cool, whatever, that will do, bam, turtle's got coordinates, um, now the next thing he's going to need is some fuel, so we'll chuck that in, or he will start to complain. Uh, now the carriage block, uh, the turtle will throw up errors. I guess we may as well see one of these error messages. Press forward. No carriages or too many carriages attached to the controller. So um, it can only have one of these or it will generate uh, that same error again. Um, so let's run startup. There we go. And now if we press forward, it'll go. And you can, um, is, is he not using the fuel? What the hell is he doing? Uh, turn the... Right, two. That's weird. Go forward. Uh, fuel. Oh, well, uh, sorry, it's not using the fuel because the program. Yeah, okay, refuel. Because uh, the program crashed for some reason. Real is selling this now, aren't I? Go forward. Could be a good idea, maybe to give him some fuel and hit the refuel button before you go. Anyway, uh, I'll fix that up so it's not a problem in the future. Um, anyway, so let's run startup again. Okay, now can you go forward? For some reason he thinks he's on the back, which is dumb. Go up. Turn right to... Now, can you work this time, please? Start up. Uh, that's better. Yeah, damn straight. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, um, what I mean he thinks is on the back is if you press back, it's got to go up there to move it, otherwise in the way of the block. Um, anyway, so that's how you use that. Oh, and the events, uh, sorry, the wireless, I didn't even think about this. Um, my recall program, which you may have seen over there, um, where you can set coordinates, that's just, uh, let me just grab the paste bin ID. Oh, which program's that? That's Wiles Carriage Shuttle. That's that one. Um, oh, you know what? I think I just put an older... Yeah, pretty sure I just put an older script on the um, on that computer, which on that turtle, which is why it was crashing. Um, so I'll give you the exact... Uh, the, the, the correct base bin file to use. Um... <laughs> Whoops, uh, on that turtle. Anyway, uh, face me and get that. There we go, start up. Um, cool. So it should automatically detect uh, the side the modem's on, so you can put it on any side you want. Yep, and there we go. So we're going to say... Now both of these are going to try and go for the same coordinates if I um, put them in. But that could be amusing to watch. Um, so there you go. You might not want to run more than one of these systems in range of... Uh, that control is probably going to tell all of them. But uh, let's just go zero, and we'll go um, uh, 80, zero. Well, let's see what happens. Probably hilarity will ensue. Actually, no, this guy's not moving. I wonder why not. Maybe this can only 
Oh, uh, well, you know what? This can only interact with one program at a time. So there you go. That's the one it chose. That's the one it got to first. Even though this one's closer, which is interesting. I imagine that may have... Oh, no, that hasn't even crashed this one. Well, how good is that? Um, sweet, guys. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been informative, enjoyable, etc., etc. Um, it hasn't gone on too long. I apologize for those few little hiccups, but you get the gist. Um, hit me up with any suggestions, questions. Um, I know someone will probably end up mentioning using GPS. Uh, the problem with GPS is if you put it on this thing, you'd have to keep updating the satellite computers or, like, you know, the extra ones, and it's stupid. You'd be... Basically, it just works out being the same, except you'd have to go the extra effort of putting in, like, four extra computers, which is why I didn't do it. Anyway, guys, um, well, I'm going to take off, I think, and actually, I've, I've wanted to do this, so I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to turn on these Thorncraft lasers. Um, hopefully, this works the way I want it to. Um, I wonder if I can just use those as blocks. There we go. Um, so, we're going to take off. And hopefully, ah, oh man, not get stuck in there. I'm just going to step back now. There we go. And hopefully we can make these lasers start attacking things as we, uh, as we go. Or I'm going to crash into something and break the program. It'll be one of the two. Come on, start shooting things. Ah, uh, don't I equip them with stuff. I thought I set them up properly. This was supposed to be the big climax of the video, so you could kind of say, like, you know, yeah. I was thinking, like, maybe even attaching, like, mining wells to the bottom and just have them, like, keep deploying. But, um, come on, you gotta... Get, yeah, there we go. Ta-da! Let's get in that tree. So you can set it up to, you know, get rid of the things in front of you. I thought these things had a better range than that. Oh. Uh, it's broken the turtle? No, it just happened to be inside the turtle. There we go. Alright. Eat the tree. Come on. Eat the tree. I, was, I don't think it's right in front of me. Alright, let's go to the side. Get that tree right there. Come on, buddy. That's gotta be something. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Keep moving. See if I can get both those guns going. Uh, uh, yeah, there it is. All right. Cool, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed and stick around. Hopefully I'll have a uh, new wacky creation for you guys uh, sometime soon. All right. Catch ya.